This year was going to be a defining moment for LeBray. After coming off a great summer in EYBL, getting some D1 looks, it was looking like the only way for Brick to go was up from here. He was back home putting in some work with Lorraine James, a cousin known for his shooting ability, and hopefully during this time, he would be able to work on his shot. Or at least that's what was supposed to happen. When I tell you a name sticks in this family, bro, it sticks. As many shots as he was getting up was as many as he was bricking. Thank God for family, because if this was anyone else training brick i'm sure they would have given up by now not only was he not improving on his shot he was constantly being reminded that if he didn't develop a shot there realistically might not be a chance for him to make it in the league. That is, if he wanted to go. Fast forward to his senior year, and LeBrick was about to step into a role that he might not be prepared for. The player that was in front of him for the starting position had just transferred out of the school for a better opportunity to raise his ranking, which meant that Brick was now the starting center for his high school. Talk about being thrown in the fire. With no confidence in his shot, Brick was starting to feel the pressure of his spot on his team. Brick, let me talk to you for a minute, baby. What up, coach? You worry, and I can see the concern on your face, and I just wanted to say you got this. I hear you, coach. No, son. I need you to understand that there is no expectations from you. I know your last name carries a lot of weight, but right now, this season, I just need you to be the best you can be. Everything else will fall into place. I understand. Now, from what I've been hearing, you already got people looking at you from your performance this summer, which means all you got to do now is go out there and keep playing the way you've been playing and you'll get those scholarships. For sure. Keep your head up, son, and get that confidence back. Only person that can stop you is you. Let's go ahead and get into the season. A debut game as a senior in high school, Rick started off getting to the rim strong and finding ways to attack taller defenders. His athletic ability was being put on display for the view of the fans, getting to the line, catching free throws, grabbing boards. I mean, it looked like he was doing it all. There was one point in the game where the ball bounced off perfectly from the rim and Brick took the opportunity to do a crazy reverse putback that shook the gym. Folks from both sides were off their feet as Brick did something that's not usually seen in the high school realm. Then to add to that, Brick caught the ball in stride and dunked on the other team's seven footer. Not only that, he hung on the rim and on the way down, patted dude on the head, ran off like he just didn't disrespect that man. Unfortunately, ended up taking the L in their season opener. To say that Brick was hurt from this loss was an understatement. Well, that next game came and the team looked like there was no way they were going to lose this one. Brick was in rare form, getting tough boards, fighting for extra possessions, anything he could not only that, we started to see his agility around the rim going 100% at any person that stood in front of them. This was definitely a team to beat as they were a national team that seemed to make headlines every time they played. Brick knowing this, he had to make every effort to be the headliner when the news reported back. Getting a tough and one towards the end of the game was, was the momentum boost that the team needed to close out the game. Huge congrats to this no-name team for pulling off the victory, especially after taking the L to a team they were supposed to beat. But the competition was getting steeper as the schedule was getting into more teams that really had future NBA players on the team. Needless to say, there just wasn't enough firepower on Brick's team to push past the power of the other team. But Brick had a standout performance, putting up a double-double, 10 points, 10 boards, as he continued to fight for his life down low against much taller players. The trick was he was much quicker than the taller players. He was so fast on the fast breaks he would fly down the court in transition lay the ball up before his defender could recover but yet again this was another l on the season and things were going downhill from here homecoming game against gate city was about to be a movie as this was the in city rival and the players had been talking greasy about and to each other all week in the streets and on the court, fights were about to break out over and over again. As far as Britt goes, you know he didn't want to lose this game. Any game, but this one, because this was for all the bragging rights in the hood until the next game. And there was no next game for Brick. Immediately out of the gate, no pun intended, Brick is darting down the court, opening the game with a goal-shattering dunk. And he kept going up from there as he catches a body that made this rivalry almost end in a fight again. The way that Jim was rocking after Brick put that man's head on his nuts is crazy. Quick releases at the rim, putting his team up by 10, had Brick turned because it was looking as if this team was about to dominate the rest of the game. And Brick had tunnel vision, bossing out yet another grown man for a board. 
Missed the first attempt, but got the ball back. Pump fake. Easy put back. Brick was cooking for the majority of the game. Unfortunately, that was going to end in another loss for the team. Man, tensions were high after that game, and things escalated quickly afterwards. Tough loss, Brick, but you was hooping, bro. You really trying to make something out of this, huh? Hey, yo, my mama really wants this for me, so I'm just trying to make her proud, that's all. But what about you? How you feel about it? I mean, it could go either way for me. I don't really care. Well, until you start caring about how things turn out for you, you're going to stay where you at. Yeah, well, I'm going to head out. All right, bro. All hey, right, bro. F*** gay city and everything you f*** niggas stand for, bro. Oh, oh shit. Time was winding down for Brick, and the talk he had with his homeboy really stuck in his mind as the season progressed. He made every effort to try and go out and attack as much as he could to solidify whatever offers he would walk away with when it was time to sign. There was one thing he wanted to make sure that recruiters couldn't say he didn't do, and that was grab boards, create second chance points for the team and himself. That's all he wanted to focus on. Shooting was ultimately put on the back burner because at this point in his career, he wanted to prove he could be an asset for whatever team wanted to take a chance on him. Although the game was changing to a shooter's lead, he knew that there was still some value to someone who could grab a board, create more opportunities when needed. His gritty, tough play would eventually land him his first official offer, and that was from Alabama State. He went to the campus, talked to the coaches, and he felt great. He finally felt as if this was something he could possibly do all the time. The only drawback was how far away from home the college was, and he didn't really want to leave his mom where she was. Then, to his surprise, he got another offer from Louisiana Tech. Now, this was a huge offer because we just saw an undersized player reach the NBA level and hold his own. Brick was excited about this, especially because the team had already seen a player his size, and he felt confident that they would be able to adapt to the player he is and not try to make him the player they wanted him to be. This was his second offer, and it was looking like he was going to accept this one. The next team to offer him a full scholarship was Bethune-Cookman. Not much really to say about the school, but he was happy nonetheless to get the offer. Now, the last and fourth school that jumped in my man's DMs was Texas Southern University, and they were giving Brick a chance to come in and make an immediate difference. The school was showing him everything as if he was already a member of the team. He felt at home in the Texas heat, and it wasn't too far away from home, and it was looking like this was the school that Brick wanted to attend. Finally, the end of the season, and with a few solid offers under Brick's belt and the conversations he had with his mother, mother and the rest of the family, he looked like he was ready to make his decision. LeBrick had made up in his mind that he would in fact stay close to home as possible and attend Texas Southern University. And although there wasn't a big hype surrounding his name, the HBCU social media was happy about the signing. This would be the first time anyone from the James family would be attending an HBCU and Brick coming in as a starter was going to make his debut all the more excited. The state he was in, you know, he wasn't thinking straight. You know what I'm saying? He just thought that he came up on something. You know what I mean? Either way, he was wrong because he had a girl. Speaking of his girl, there was something very special happening on her side of town. Ray, if I tell you something, you promise you won't get mad? Nah, you know I can't get mad at you. Well, my period has been late for the past few weeks. I thought it was going to come off. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me you pregnant? Yeah. Hey, yo, that's lit. I'm so happy that you said that, because for a second I thought you'd be upset. Why would you think that? Because you're a superstar basketball player, and I wasn't trying to get in the way of that. Nah, that's crazy. I'm super excited, babe. I'm going to be your father, and don't worry about this basketball shit. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of all of this. You're the best, babe. And there you have it, folks. Ray is about to become a dad. And this is great news just in time for the upcoming game that you and the entire world has been waiting for. Ray versus Raiden. We were finally about to see who truly was the best twin. And I don't have to tell you, but guess who has been in the gym getting it in for this game? That's right. 
that man Raiden has been locked in for this game since they went their separate ways in high school. For whatever reason, he still believes that Ray has something against him, which is why he made the decision he did. Either way, I'm not gonna hold y'all up. I'm gonna get right into the gameplay. 